Hello Aquarius and welcome to your reading. This is April from 33 and above and before we get started I wanted to make a few notes. Please know these messages are general so if you're interested in booking a reading the information is below. Also uh, these readings are timeless so if you are wondering what time frame they are please they start from the time you write you watch this video. So um, also please check your sun moon rising and Venus sign all right. So we're going to go ahead and get started. What is going on with Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising? Ooh, we have the High Priestess here. Whoa, let's get a, take a look at this card. Someone is mysterious. Someone is not letting all their secrets out. They are applying within and not letting everyone know what they're up to. They're playing their own game. They're realizing that the game that they're playing is their own and not anyone else's. You're playing close to the chest. I'm also getting someone who's a fallen angel. Someone who is reincarnated to help. Help the world, help. Um, someone who's willing to build a foundation on earth and send a message. Someone who has a bigger purpose. Someone who is not here to just follow the crowd. Someone's here to set their own rules and play their own game. That's what you're doing. You're playing your own game. You're not, you're looking up to yourself We have the Knight of Swords. So we have someone who is confident in their abilities. Someone who has their own opinion. It's formed by their experience. Their experiences in their own life. They're getting rid of the programs that has transpired throughout their lifetime. You're getting rid of the, the rules that were formed against you. And you're now creating your own. You're fighting for what's yours. It's your time, Aquarius. Regardless of what comes towards you, you're willing to fight. Because you have secrets of your own. You have secret weapons that no one else knows about. You have your own personal power that no one else can take away from you. This is transpiring to your own. This is yours. This is what was created for you. It's your time to evolve. It's your time to take quick action. It's time to be a leader in your own field. People look up to you. People are loyal. You have a loyal following. We're 
we have the knight uh, I'm sorry the king of swords in reverse it was put up in reverse and we also have the four of pentacles so with the king of wands in reverse I'm getting that you're a person that is very optimistic and willing to shield your own to get ahead. You're an influencer by default. Someone who can influence a crowd, influence a group, and pers persuade. You're a free spirit. So this is... I'm getting someone who can stand up to people. You hear that dog in the background? It's like some, there are people who are who are truly loyal to you. They're loyal to you by default. Because you have some influence. That is powerful. It's very powerful and that can lead many into a kingdom. But I get you keep this to yourself. I don't feel that this is something that you show off. You're getting upgrades right now. There are spiritual upgrades that are happening right now while you sleep. So rest up because each day you are forming into something significant. You're, you're it's like these wands are creating this powerful force. You're an enlightened influencer. You're someone who reads between the lines. Someone who can see beyond face value. Someone who's bu building their own foundation to look ahead and willing to fight for what's theirs. You're using your light. To tread forward. Because this is the game you created. Whether you know it or not, this is the game you created. You are an enlightened being. You're not someone who's the regular Joe Schmo who's walking down the street buying some bread. No. You are an enlightened being. You are watching tarot videos for a reason. Whether, I don't care how you got here, I don't care who got you here, who you are trying to figure out or who you are watching, even if you're watching yourself, there is a reason for it. It's real. You're real. Your journey is real. And you're very valuable. And you're sitting in a high priestess. Ooh. You're sitting in the high priestess chair. Can't take all these. Poverty. So we have someone who's sitting in a high priestess chair, and we have someone else who's sitting in the poverty chair. It's like polar opposites. There's someone who is very intuitive 
someone who is intelligent, has great wisdom, but we also have someone who's feeling like they don't have it all. Someone who's feeling that they are missing. There is a void. This could be you or this could be someone who you're dealing with. Someone who's looking for another home. And this, it does not necessarily have to be another residence, but spiritually looking for a home. Someone who is tired of fighting Someone who wants opportunity and is seeking opportunity. We have marriage. Someone who's seeking commitment. Someone who wants commitment from you. I don't know if you don't have time. I'm not sure if you have time for all of this. There's someone who is seeking commitment from you and is wearing a mask. They do not want to tell you this for some reason. Why they are wearing a mask, why they are being secretive about their feelings, being secretive. They're willing to go into poverty. They're willing to miss out instead of give what they need to because they're probably scared for some reason. They're scared to give you what you want for their own personal reasons because they're in this poverty energy. It's like they can't give you what you want, but they want to. This is what they're feeling internally. They want to give you this. They may be afraid of what others think. They may have too many cooks in the kitchen. Too many people with opinions. And we have gifts. Someone's willing to give something to someone. And we have journey. Someone's willing to give to receive what are they giving I don't know what are they willing to risk I'm not sure but they are in they're lacking right now while you're in this high priestess energy where you have this internal thought of wisdom you have this 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 confidence of knowledge, this leadership that you could give to others. This person is not. This person wants to give to you, but they're not sure how. Because they're in their own energy of, I'm not sure how to go about this. While you're experiencing internal upgrades, this person is going through their own self-transformation. So in the extended, we're, go we're gonna dive into what this person is going or trying to give to you. What is preventing this person from in their own journey from giving towards something that's more significant? It's like almost like they're not seen because they're blocking their own blessings. It's like this person is in their own four of pentacles energy. But they have to get on this train in order to, to give to you. They have to make some sort of move. Yeah, they have to make some sort of move. And so in the extended, we're going to dive into that. We're going to dive into what, towards, what type of move they're going to have towards you 
what do they need to give and what do they need to leave behind because you're worth it you're definitely worth it so that was your reading Aquarius if you're interested in booking um, a reading or a session but the information is below otherwise I'll see you in the extended all right bye